Hey guys, what is going on today? I'm going to show you all how to access the American Netflix no matter what location you're from in the world guys and this is super super easy to do guys and yeah basically the way we're going to do this though is we're going to need a VPN for this and I'm going to show you guys three VPNs that I have used for Netflix to watch Netflix that all work pretty good um, and the first one is the best and then the last one is a little bit like sketchy sometimes and it doesn't always work but I'm going to go ahead and go through all three of them guys and help you guys all watch American Netflix from any location in the world guys so the first VPN that we're gonna be looking at that's the best one in my opinion is ExpressVPN um, this is it right here guys and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the actual application and me connecting to it and then showing you guys that I'm able to watch American Netflix um, so let's go ahead and start this up guys so right now we're on the website and let's check out the pricing so um, this one is the most priciest, by the way, ExpressVPN is the most pricey VPN um, on this list, guys. But it is the best, though, so I guess you pay a little bit more and you get a much bigger bang for your buck because it does always work with Netflix and the speeds are top-notch, I'm talking. This one loads so fast. Um, and by the way, if any of you guys want to buy any of these VPNs, links will be down below. But yeah, guys, the, um, the loading times on this one is so fast, super HD quality. And I honestly think this one is the best. Every time I use it, I never have any complaints with it. And there's a 100% money back guarantee. So guys, I just went with the one month because I don't like to spend, I don't like to like uh, commit to a long um, package. So I just go with the one month. And here are the payment options. And it's pretty simple guys. Once you purchase it, you get the application. Let's go ahead and check it out. I've got it right here, ExpressVPN. And as you guys can see, here we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect now to um, a location um, I'm going to connect to the United States because that, obviously you guys would want to connect to the United States if you want to watch the American only Netflix. And let's go ahead and click connect guys. So I'm on the United States and now I'm going to click connect. And now let's go ahead and see what happens. So we are connecting and boom. So that was pretty fast to connect guys. So now we are on Netflix and now I'm going to go ahead and refresh it and we are now connected to the American Netflix guys. So this is perfect. Now, I'm going to go ahead and test a show to show you guys that I do not get the proxy error. So I know a lot of you guys um, with some VPNs, like um, some VPNs or proxies, they get detected by Netflix. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. I'm going to go start up The Witcher. And um, yeah. So as you guys can see, it is loading. I'm, I'm not going to show too much because I don't want to get copyright. But yeah, guys, it is loading. Check it out. It loads complete. Look how fast it, it uh it loads the episode and it's in complete HD guys so this is why this VPN is definitely top notch on my list and also just to prove to you guys that I am on the uh, I am on the American Netflix I'm going to show you that um, right now I'm on this website it's the ex it's only exclusive USA Netflix uh, shows and here's one Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated so I'm gonna show you guys right now that I am on the um usa netflix so check it out i've got this show scooby-doo mystery incorporated so this is the american netflix right here confirmed and yeah guys this is the real deal as you guys can see i just loaded that episode super fast so yeah this is the first vpn guys express vpn like i said it's the priciest but it honestly is the best in terms of speeds um no issues ever with proxy errors and yeah guys let's go ahead and continue on to the second proxy now uh second vpn now and I'll catch you guys all there. Alright guys, so now we're going to start off with the second VPN, which is Sur uh, Surfshark VPN. And this one is second because um, this one also loads really well, but it's not quite as fast as uh, uh, ExpressVPN. But it's still definitely, uh, I still definitely recommend it guys. So here's the website Surfshark VPN. Um, let me show you really quick. So let's check out the pricing and then I'll show you guys the application. Um, so as you guys can see, it's a little bit cheaper than ExpressVPN if you go for the month. Um, so that's pretty good and um, yeah for the most part it works almost all the time on Netflix as well just like ExpressVPN guys so let's go ahead and open up the application and yeah here it is guys Surfshark VPN um, very good as well very stand uh, very solid VPN and they also got a dark mode option which is pretty cool um, that the ExpressVPN doesn't have but yeah guys um, as you can see we've got all these settings here now let's go ahead and check out the locations um, I just want to show you guys all the servers they've got besides the United States but yeah, check it out. They've got tons and tons of servers to choose from and you can even choose fastest server. But I'm gonna just going to go ahead and look for United States and show you guys that it also works on the um, that it also works on Netflix. So right now we're connected to the Chicago server. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh Netflix. And now we are back on the American Netflix. 
with our VPN. And as you guys can tell, um, it's working so far. Everything's loaded. And let's go ahead and check for Scooby-Doo because that one is only available on the American Netflix. So Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, boom. All right, we're on American Netflix. Now let's go ahead and start up an episode and see if we load in. So I'll start this up right here and let's see if it's fat, if it loads up. So right now it's loading and boom. So yeah, guys, as you can see, the speeds are a little bit similar to ExpressVPN, but ExpressVPN is a little bit faster in my opinion. Um, right now I'm buffering right now and it's taking a little while to load. So ExpressVPN is a little bit faster than Surfshark. Um, now I'm sorry if you guys can't see any video. I think it's because my screen recorder actually black, uh, like, uh, takes out the it censors the Netflix out. I don't even know how it knows, but that's pretty weird. Anyways, guys, so yeah, Surfshark works as well as ExpressVPN, but ExpressVPN is a little bit faster. But keep in mind, it's a little bit more pricier, guys. So both of these VPNs though work very well with um, Netflix. And now let's head on to the last um, VPN, guys, which is IP Vanish. All right, guys. So here's the final VPN that I'll be showing you guys that does work with Netflix. So it's called IP Vanish. And this one is at the bottom of my list though because it has a few issues with Netflix um, But I'll discuss those later guys So let's go ahead and check out the pricing first and as you guys can see it is the cheapest out of the three um, ExpressVPN was like $13 a month and then Surfshark was I believe $12 or $11 I'm not too sure but this one is the cheapest out of the three But it is the worst when it comes to working with Netflix and the efficiency of um, being able to bypass the Netflix um, detection of VPNs and proxies guys. So yeah, that is the price and let's go check out the application So as you guys can see I have it right here and I'm con currently connected to it So here I'm just gonna explain to you guys the issues with this VPN. So um, if you're using Net American Netflix with IP vanish It will actually work, but there's only three servers or two servers that work with it um, That don't get detected for some odd reason the other VPNs not all the servers work with American Netflix but this one Las Vegas and Dallas are the only two and I think Chicago is the third one that works. So when you use IP Vanish, you have to keep in mind that these are the only three that work. If you test other locations like Miami or like New York, you're gonna see that the ne that Netflix actually detects the VPN, um, which is pretty strange, but yeah, that's the downside about this VPN, guys. Um, and also the other downside is no other countries work. Like for example, if you try UK Netflix or Canada Netflix, um, Netflix will detect that you're using IP Vanish, the VPN, and you won't be able to watch any shows um, and you won't be able to bypass it so that's the issue with that so if you do plan on watching other country Netflixes like UK and Canada then IP Vanish is a no-go in my opinion um, even though it's the cheapest it's not that efficient guys when watching other countries but USA you can get away with it if you choose Las Vegas um, Dallas and Chicago so let's go ahead and check it out I'm currently connected to the Las Vegas option and let's go ahead and start up an episode. Oh, let me just show you guys really quick that I can find Scooby-Doo because that's the ultimate test to show that I am connected to the American Netflix and not on my home IP. So boom, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated is there. And now let's go ahead and start up this movie, Incredibles 2. And if everything is good, it should load, guys. So it is a little bit slower, though, than the other two. Um, that is definitely for sure. But... Let me go try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something a little bit shorter than that because that is a little bit long. Um, so let's see if this loads. All right guys, so it loaded, there you go. Um, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it, def it loaded and it's not as fast as the other two, but it still works and it's the cheapest. So if budget is an is a issue with you, then obviously IP Vanish is the best choice because it's the cheapest. So yeah guys, that's it for the um, comparison of the three VPNs to use. Um, and watch Netflix and access the American Netflix from anywhere in the world and that is pretty much it for the video guys I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please smash that thumbs button thumbs up button uh, Let me know what other VPNs you want me to review and any other reviews you want me to make guys and honestly That's pretty much it guys. Thank you very much for watching and peace out